So back in 2011, when you published your report with Lord Heseltine, um, could you imagine it would have turned out like this? Uh, no, this is actually better than I might have uh, conceived. I, I, I think that to have a 50 day event, uh, 300 uh, individual meetings within that, thousands of people from all over the world coming together to talk about business, and I know from my business experience that will create a lot of business, a lot of investment, a lot of ideas. And for all of that to happen in Liverpool, supported by the rest of the Northwest, uh, the rest of the United Kingdom. Uh, is fantastic and I, I think that the organisers of the International Festival for Business should be congratulated in terms of how they realised the idea. It, it, it seems that the, perhaps the importance of this is filtered uh, down to Whitehall because the Prime Minister has been here supporting Liverpool today. Yeah, he's been a big supporter of the regeneration of Liverpool uh, and also, importantly, the plans behind the International Festival for Business from the start and um, it's great to see him here. Uh, and, and I think he is really interested in the renaissance of these great Victorian cities, uh, in Liverpool, Manchester, and uh, what's been achieved and what's necessary to sustain it and build on it in the future. Now, of course, um, the British Business Embassy is all about celebrating the best of British, best of British. and uh, you're a great advocate of, of the British brand or brand of Britain, aren't you? And, um, is this kind of showcase, will this help us sell Britain to the world? Oh, it undoubtedly will, because um, you bring thousands of people in. They're always impressed when they come first-hand, meet people, uh, discuss how they can grow their business, whether they're potential inward investors into the UK or potential customers of UK products and services. Um, they can make connections, they can find investors, advisors, collaborators, partners, all these things can happen at the International Festival for Business. Now, Britain has got great strengths. I actually think from my experience going around the world, they underplay their strengths. There's a lack of confidence in the UK that they can go out and compete and beat the best in the world. In the way that the, you know, the English football team sometimes goes to tournaments with low expectations, uh, sometimes we go out uh, in trade with low expectations. Um, we can do very well, not, and not just in one or two industries or one or two service sectors, right across the piece uh, we can do well. And um, people, all they need to do is go and find the best in the world at their area of business and see what it would take to compete or even to beat those people. But it takes confidence, doesn't it? And, and you mentioned confidence there. One of the things that struck me about Liverpool in the, in the last few years and the time I've been working here is a restoration of confidence and I believe that's probably the case in places like Manchester as well, possibly Leeds and Newcastle that I know less well. That's key though, isn't it, confidence? Oh, it's absolutely key, you know, but, but boosting the city, believing that, you know, the best days lie ahead is so important. I don't think it was ever lost in Manchester. I was in Manchester as a student actually in, in probably the low point, you know, in the late 70s. It never quite went away. I think Liverpool was hit even harder, but it's been fantastic to see steadily that confidence rebuilding in Liverpool. And, uh, you know, with the work that was done for the physical regeneration of the city, culminating in the capital of culture in 2008, I think that was the point at which local Liverpool people thought, hang on, something can change here. Uh, things can get significantly better for the prospects for ourselves and our children and actually it's in our hands you know if, if we if we want it badly enough if we come up with the ideas if we show the ambition take the risks actually it, it can happen we can change you know the direction of the city and, and the city has done I mean in the last 10 years it's been if not the fastest certainly one of the fastest growing city regions in the country and that's really impressive uh, and that mass message has gone out you know people now see Liverpool as, as, as a top choice uh, for, for inward investment. And uh, hopefully, given the fact that half of Roy Hodgson's team is Liverpool and Everton in the season they've had, that confidence can, can uh, reap dividends in, on the World Cup. What that's, do you what, that's what I hope, yeah. <laughs> I actually do. I think the young players uh, from Liverpool and Everton, if they're given a chance, yeah. uh, can go in and, and do well. People forget, actually, when Wayne Rooney was, was he 18 uh, at the European 
he's never been so good since. It's extraordinary. He just went in as a young player, didn't care, did fantastically well, scored four goals. And if one or two of those young players from the Liverpool and Everton teams go in and do the same, could make a difference. I mean, I don't say we'll win it, but I think people would settle for having a good run, wouldn't they? Absolutely. Beat the world of business, beat the world of football. Thank Fantastic. you very much. Thank you. Thanks, John.